Hey friends, Tux here. I'm starting to unpack from BlizzCon, okay? It's been a couple days now, so it's time to start unpacking a little bit. And this is some of the stuff which is in one of my suitcases. Uh, we actually had to buy a whole other suitcase for the stuff we we're bringing back. So this video will not include the goodie box, which was amazing. There's a picture of it right here. Um, I mean, great book, cool figure, lots of good stuff. And again, I may show that in a future video, but this is primarily stuff that you get from the mystery boxes, okay? And the mystery boxes are sold in the Dark Moon Fair, and they're 40 bucks, and they have usually like a plushie and some other cool stuff in them. So um, that's what that's all about. Um, I did want to show this catalog, though. When you first register, they give you this really nice catalog, super nice thick card stop, very beautiful, lots of cool stuff, shows pin collecting. Again, I have another video on that. You get the mystery box in one of these huge bags, and I have to say, I think we both got overwatch bags and like they get a lot of attention in fact i may show this in a future video but just very very cool awesome awesome bag the t-shirts nice print this year very thick very beautiful highly recommend them patches tons of fun and just going through the catalog real quick got clothing stuff this year of course are featuring diablo which is really cool um for switch which i played and was a blast guys super super fun i would highly recommend it um cool diablo clothing world of warcraft stuff oh my god how cute they added one to like the little toy plushie and it squeaks that is so cute <laughs> um, other stuff going through uh, more like world of warcraft stuff different t-shirts holiday shirts the floating magnetic snowball i would love to get one of these oh my gosh this thing floats it floats in a little uh little snow base here which is really cool um we're talking magnets we're talking science very cool the eyes have little hearts and this changes it's like it's like the actual uh snowball so you can actually kind of check out the emotions that's having so so much fun snowball is such a cute little character and this is just an amazing piece of like tech so cool guys um little keychain backpack danglies I have two we're going to open in this video. Um, other stuff, the Lego thing, I opened that and did that in a past video, a lot of fun. And they had a whole really cool Lego area, and I probably need to talk more about that in some future video. Um, other stuff in the catalog, cool backpacks, lots of bags. Uh, what else? We got lots of like <laughs> diva robe, super cute. Love these jackets, man. Very, very cool. All sorts of great stuff clothing wise. Cute but deadly. You know I love this stuff. So much fun. We're going to open four of those right now in this video. Um, some special collector editions. And I have more of these like special ones I need to open in a future video. Um, let's see. Cute but deadly bags. All sorts of shirts. The um, I've seen quite a few people sporting this Hearthstone backpack. This is really kind of a good like a uh, kind of a explorer backpack. Really big. Really nice. Nice straps to it. Like leather. Good quality. More Blizzard collectibles here with the big statues. Little order form very cool stuff just really really awesome oh look at that cute little diva ah uh, so so cute love it <laughs> so anyway this catalog super cool definitely worth grabbing one free you know very nice um they give you some little patches when you go around to different things like if you spend x dollars at the dark moon fair you get a velcro dark moon fair patch which is cool a lot of the vendors will give you a vendor patch too which is nice now this is what is actually in the mystery boxes this is the contents of two mystery boxes now, as part of the mystery boxes, I did end up with two stealth sombras, and this is a Blizzard exclusive, very cool from last year, actually. And sometimes, like last year's stuff, will make it into the mystery boxes, and that's cool because I didn't have this before. You know, I collect these, so very cute, awesome packaging. I'm gonna leave her in the box for right now, but very, very cute, translucent plastic, just super good detail, and a lot, a lot of fun. So there's that. I'll probably train that. I did get McCree Pop, which is right there, um, <laughs> Fera Pop, and I think I've showed those in previous videos, so I'm just gonna leave them be for right now. Um, we yeah, a couple of these keychain danglies. Now, in the actual backpack from last year's BlizzCon goodie bag, um, everyone pretty much ended up with Mercy. So I'm hoping that maybe I don't get Mercy. Let's see what we got here. We'll go ahead and open this up. I'd like to have Mayor Diva, maybe. Maybe Tracer. Let's see what we have. Oh, check that out. Very cool. This is one I don't have, so love it. Doing the whole Zen yoga meditation thing. Very cool. And these are fun just to hook to a backpack too, you know? And let's see what we have in the other one. Come on, no doubles. Oh, snap, check it out, a gold one. That is amazing. This is one of the Mystery Chaser ones. That is super duper cool, guys. Mystery Hero, ka -cha! it's super gold. This one, I'm definitely hanging my BlizzCon backpack. That is so cool, man. Wow, look at that. Super gold, man. I got a golden coot. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, 
<laughs> a super good man. That's awesome. I love chasers. I didn't suspect I would get this, so very cool. All right, next up, um, we'll go ahead and do some Cupa Deadlies here. These are Series 3, and again, I really need, I think there's a Lucio. Yeah, I really need a Lucio bad, so hopefully we'll get a Lucio here in one of these boxes. If not, I'll be making a trade here. Let's see, we'll go ahead and pop this up. See what we have, our first Cupa Deadly. Which one is it? Who could it be now? Let's see, and our first one is, it's Tracer, that's cool. Love Tracer with the little green, looking very snappy with her gun out. I played actually, as you guys know, I'm a D.Va main, and before I was pr pretty much only playing D.Va, and I was kind of in a situation while doing the Halloween event where I was kind of forced to play some non-D.Va characters, and Tracer was actually pretty fun. You know, I have to say, uh, she was a good time. I felt her ultimate wasn't wasn't the best, but as far as just general like hits during normal parts of the game, um, she had her guns were actually a little more powerful than I thought they would be. So very very cool, very satisfying shooting those dual wielding those guns. So very fun got a little stand for her here we'll put her on the stand check this out here we go let me try and get this guy on again the feet do go a certain direction you have to be really careful because those feet those are some teeny teeny feet so you really want to make sure that she's in the stand good otherwise you will lose her and believe me my cat loves to knock down keep a deadlies there we go super solid and she will definitely stand see voila okay we're gonna go for a keep a deadly number two Again, this is Series 3, and we'll see what we have for the next one. I'm really looking forward to the Christmas event for Overwatch. I love the May snowball thing last year. So fun. Definitely gets you in the holiday mood. I don't know. Blizzard, like, I hope, I think they know this, but those holiday events really help make the holidays seem special to me. Oh, look at this. Time to do a little nerfing here. There we go. Looking cool. He's got his little bird. We've got Cardinal this time. And I got one bird right here, but I have something here I want to show you special at the end, okay? Um, but this is very cool. For some reason, I think I don't have this from Series 3. Um, oh, you know what? I do. This is a double. Okay, this is indeed a double. Um, the Fico, one direction and one direction only. There we go. Looking cool. It's got a little birdie friend. Good times, man. Um, this one doesn't seem to stick in quite as good. There we go. I think it's in now. I think I'll stand. Yep, looking good. One more, come on, Lucio. I, I almost think I don't have a Lucio. <laughs> I'll have to double check. All right, number three. Come on, Lucio. Or maybe a chaser figure. We'll see. What do we have? Oh, it is Diva. My little main. There's some really cute Divas at, um, at BlizzCon. There was this one time, there was this one super short Diva. Uh, next to a really tall person. It looked quite funny. I think it's uh, one of the photos at the end of my last video with the cosplay. You can check it out. Look for the super short diva. There we go. Looking cool. Again, I love the big flowy hair on this. Really, really nice. I got a diva in my other case unboxing of Cupid Deadlies. And they do such a great job. Obviously, diva is a, a fan favorite. I was kind of sad she was on the voice actor panel of BlizzCon. But I know there's so many characters. It's tough. And I really did enjoy the people they had, too. There's that. If you get a chance to check out the pay-per-view, though, definitely kind of rewatch it. It's still available. So check it out. And then finally, one more. Come on, Lucio. I'm hoping for Lucio. Let's see what we get. Come on, Lucio. Uh, I don't know. It could be. It could be. Let's see here. All right. Oh, no, it's not a Lucio. But you know what? I don't think I have this one, actually. So that is cool check her out with her pink hair looking good there's a really good cosplayer um at blizzcon of this i think i i don't know if i have that photo i'm gonna have to look for that i may have to put that in a future video i don't think that made my last one all right so pop that in there looking good got big gun ready for attack so really cool love the hair love the little detail touches the inside the gun painted the little blue buttons matching her blue little leggings looking super cute man very cool now finally there's two more things i want to show you well first these i guess i should mention these are part of the the coin op game from last year and this year they're clear balls but they had patches this year uh 2017 the year this is from uh they were actually like a little figure okay so pretty cool stuff kind of make a little guy out of it so very cool let's leave that in there for right now and we have a plushie here looking very chirpy and fun very cool. And these are great because they have a little clip here on the feet, so you can actually clip this on your shoulder. But very good. Oh, I'm losing patches. But this, oh my gosh, this is like one of my favorite things from BlizzCon. 
this is awesome. This is the teeny Pepe. So cute. And th this thing has such a great following. At BlizzCon, there's a whole thing where they'll spend a day and the, everyone brings them and they'll dress them up in different co like cosplay costumes like Ninja Pepe and Santa Claus Pepe and maybe like a uh, Tracer Pepe or something. They'll, they'll dress them up and really fun. These do have like little clips here so you can actually clip them on a backpack or your shoulder or something. And just so, so adorable. I'm a big fan of birds. And so, um, of course, I'm all about Pepe. So super duper cute. But anyway, guys, so that's kind of like what I got from the mystery boxes. So good times, lots of fun stuff. I highly recommend these at the Dark Moon Fair. 40 bucks for mystery boxing. Get way more than 40 bucks worth of stuff in a box, okay? Um, if you guys have any questions about BlizzCon or anything especially like to see, I have so much footage I need to weed through. Um, let me know. So shoot me an email, tuxtoys at gmail.com. I do have lots of anime and cool other stuff coming up too. And um, just thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And again, this is a Vance entry for my next giveaway. Say enemy or enemy senpai and get your name in the hat for my next giveaway, which I'm um, I'm hinting might have something to do with Christmas, okay? So we'll talk more about that soon. <laughs> Thanks for watching, friends. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.